Welcome back to the channel guys. So today's video is on React Native Navigation. Up until now, we've only been talking about React Navigation, which is a pure JavaScript library. React Native Navigation, on the other hand, is quite tightly coupled to the native platforms. This does not mean that you need to know how to program in Swift or Java, but you do have to make some setting changes for the library to work. So as always, we'll start by creating an empty React Native project. We have to keep in mind that we cannot use Expo to create our project since we need to make changes in our native platforms. If you're using Expo, you will have to eject your app to be able to use React Native Navigation with it. So I'll be using React Native Init to create my application. So we'll say React Native Init, and I'm just gonna call it RNN2, which is React Native Navigation version two. Once that's installed, let's cd into our app folder. So we'll say cd rnn2 and we'll install React Native Navigation. So we'll say npm install React Native Navigation. And as always, we're gonna go for a particular version and that version is 2.0.2544. This is the latest version as of now and it'll make sure that this video does not break in the future. Once that's installed, let's just run npm install again to make sure all our dependencies are available. And let's run our project on our iOS simulator. So there we have our app running and I've opened it up in my code editor. However, we need to make some changes in our iOS app to make React Native Navigation work. So I'm gonna go into the iOS folder and I'm gonna open up the Xcode project. Inside the project, as per the documentation, we need to do certain things. The first thing we need to do is go into libraries and click on add files to our project. Then we need to go into our project folder Go into the node modules and we need to look for the react native navigation folder i'm just going to search for it over here so react native navigation in the node modules folder and if we scroll down there we have it inside the react navigation folder we'll go into the lib folder go into ios and we'll add the react native navigation.xcode project file once that's done just click on your project folder here go into build phases and inside link binaries with libraries we need to add another file here and the file we need is lib react native navigation dot a let's add that next we need to replace the code in our app delegate dot m with the code given in the documentation so in the documentation if you go down to point three just copy the code here and replace the code in your file once you save that if you get this error over here that the rct bundle url provider dot h file not found you need to do one more thing you can close out the Xcode project, open up your project folder in your terminal, and you need to type this code here. npm install g react native git upgrade. Once that's installed, just run react native git upgrade. This will make sure that the react scheme is available in our project, and then that error will go. You might get this error when you run this, but you can just ignore it. Come back to Xcode, and here click on product scheme and here go to manage schemes inside manage schemes click on the plus button and look for react click on ok and make sure that this checkbox is checked in front of react you can then close this out open your app delegate.m and you'll notice that that error is no longer visible so now our installation is complete in the next video, we'll dig into how we can use React Native Navigation in our app.